Hi there, folks. Good evening. Welcome to Love Audio's uh, YouTube channel. Tonight, we find out if MIDI notes can control the sound of Waves Ovox. Let's go. Yes, indeed. Triggering Waves Ovox with MIDI. That's exactly what we're talking about tonight. Good evening and a very warm welcome. My name is Paul Weber. The channel is Love Audio. Passionate about production, uh, particularly audio production for the beginners. So if you're new to audio broadcasting, it's audio broadcasting, audio production, <laughs> and, um, and you want to know more, Stick around, got some great videos in the pipeline coming up for you. Tonight I thought we'd uh, explore the, the Waves Ovox um, plugin, which is a fantastic plugin, uh, third party plugin of course, and I'm using PreSonus Studio One is, as the software. And uh, we'll dive straight in and show you the desktop. Give me two seconds, let me just whiz my screen out of the way so you don't see that. But what you do see, hopefully, fingers crossed and the wind in the right direction, is this right here. So this is um, uh, an example of Studio One. This is the professional version and they're up to 4.6 currently. Uh, in fact, we can find that out, can't we, about Studio One. 4.6.1.55987 uh, Windows X64 built on January 16th, 2020. So if there's any updates and I don't know about them, then let me know. <laughs> um, thank you so much for joining me. By the way, uh, if you want to say hi, please do so. The chat is open and uh, would like your comments and suggestions on perhaps some future videos that you'd like to uh, to have us feature. Um, as I say, it's all about audio production. So if you, you're stuck on certain ideas and you want to get going with, with various things, then uh, that's what you need to do is to let me know what, um, what you'd like me to discuss in future uh, episodes. Okay, so... Um, yeah, without further ado, I'm uh, going to dive straight in and uh, just show you what I've got here so far. I just uh, recorded a short vocal clip at the beginning of this particular session. Let me just close down the, um, uh, the mix there for a second so you can see the wave. So we're singing any vocal, any, any old vocal into here. So it's not actually singing. I've actually spoken it because I'm not a very good singer for a start. So uh, thank goodness for software that kind of corrects your pitch and everything else. Um, but what you'll notice underneath is there's a set of MIDI instructions. OK, now what MIDI does is um, if you've got a virtual instrument. So, for instance, the one I'm playing you here is uh, sort of look here. So if I go to there, uh, you can see this is the um, presence uh, synthesizer, which is built in to Studio One. If I play the keys manually with the with the arrow here. <laughs> wow. That's pretty sharp, isn't it? That's, um, so I can go over to the MIDI controller as well and bring that in. So give me two seconds. I love the sound of that. It's like a choir. So um, we've got the the, um, the preset on choir full here, um, which is superb. So uh, all will become clear as we dive into this. So I'm going to take that off because uh, we don't want to hear that whilst we're uh, messing around with this. So what we do now is we go into our mix channel once more. And I'm going to bring in Ovox Stereo. Okay, that's on the vocal channel only. And that's a vocoder it's a pretty good vocoder as well so let's just dive in here and we'll see what the um uh, the settings are on this so far so edit that so we've got it on full reset but we've got it on um side chain now what i've done is i've side chained my vocal track at the top to come in and let the uh audio the midi rather could control the sound so what we can hear if we put it all together is hopefully this <laughs> So that's going through uh, the Ovox um, stereo here, which is absolutely fantastic. Now what we need to do is uh, kind of bring down the level of the um, uh, the MIDI tracks. It's quite loud, as you can probably hear. So um. So 
What it's doing is it's manipulating the chorus, you know, the, the kind of chord thing that you heard earlier on, and it's uh, changing it. So instead of hearing my dull voice in the background, what you're hearing instead is that phrase being sung by the uh, the choir for, you know, via the the, uh, the MIDI signal there that's coming into OVOX. Um, so let's just play around with this a little bit more. Still quite loud, so let's try that again. A lot of the pop tracks you hear nowadays, of course, are very, very kind of heavy vocoder, aren't they? And um, they may be sung pitch perfect, perhaps, in the studio, but what they do then is they add this kind of vocoder electronic effect to the vocals, and uh, it makes it sound very, very robotic. And that's what's going on sometimes with um, with the current um, modern tracks that you get in the pop charts. Um, so this is just an example of that. So what I want to do is uh, take off the... Let's go to Ovox once more because it's on the vocal track, don't forget, so we'll edit that once more. And this time we'll take off the side chain, take off that completely, and just play this once more again. So you can hear my s s the sibilance coming through there. So we're singing any vocal. So if you had that completely on its own, which sounds really, really bizarre, doesn't it? Uh, let's mute that. So we're singing any vocal, any, any old vocal to hear. And that's coming in under that particular setting. So if we change that to another dimension, that's what that's coming up there. So um, and, and, you know, you can have hours and hours of fun with this. It's, it's a fantastic electronic voice and um, just great fun to use. So you can change that. That was a monotonic sound. You can change it to... So we're So there's another different setting there. Let's go back a bit further. <laughs> very, very strange indeed. Let's move that along to a different setting. So um, they've got one that sounds very similar to Daft Punk's Around the World. So we're singing any and if you let that play, of course, and you sang according to um, the tune of Around the World, it would sound exactly like the Daft Punk versions. Have a listen again. <laughs> very, very bizarre. OK, I'm going to stop that there and rewind to begin. Let's go to a different setting now because um, we can explore this all night, to be honest with you, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to run through a few of the presets for you. So we're singing any local. So we're singing any local. Any, any old local to hear. Okay, that's nice. So um, we can also go... So we're singing any local. Any, any old vocal into here. Now what you hear there is the um, the MIDI track playing underneath it as we played earlier on. Do you remember that? So we're singing any vocal, any any old vocal into here. Sounds really bizarre. Let's play that again, and it's stuck. <laughs> I think I've fooled it actually. To be fair. We so we're singing any vocal. Change that to side chain. Quite a spooky kind of whispering sound, isn't it? That's really bizarre. Um, so let's change that. Okay, let's click that on. So we're singing any vocal, any, any old vocal. And take that off mute. So we're singing any vocal, any, any old vocal to hear. So that works much better now. Can you hear the actual harmonies coming through? And all we're doing is we're, we're instructing the software itself to play the notes that I've uh, recorded down here in the MIDI section. So if I just click that down a minute and uh, remove the mix section, you'll see that. So these are the notes that I've played via the keyboard. If I put that on again, there's the keyboard over there. I'm going to mute that for a second. And you'll hear that on its own if we solo that. If you double click on that, we can open up. This is the uh, the piano roll, so you can change any of the notes here whatsoever, uh, just by. So that's that final. 
uh, final chord there. Do you hear that? Which is really cool. And also this down here, you can adjust the volume of it. So that was one note that's not particularly... Hang on, it's that one there, I think. Is it that one? Maybe it's that one. Yeah, there we go. Nice. <laughs> there we go. So you get the idea anyway. You can you can edit any particular note. So if let's say for instance that note there was in the wrong place, let's have a listen to it. It actually forms part of the chord, so I don't want to move it, but listen. If I moved it up. That's where it was originally, so we'll leave it there. Okay. So we go back to our main main window there. And we unsolo that and we go back to the beginning of the track. So we're singing any vocal. It just sounds amazing. So you can you can manipulate any spoken word or any sung uh, phrase using the Ovox plugin and just using some MIDI notes um, that you can create. I mean, I'm no musician, but I managed to create that, um, that MIDI section a little bit earlier um, just, by, just by playing a few notes on that. So um, if you have any questions, by the way, drop them in the comments. Um, I've got the comments open and I will answer them as quickly as I possibly can. Uh, Richard, if you're in the house, Richard's from South Africa. Uh, viewing us all the way from South Africa this evening. They're about an hour ahead of us, aren't they? So it's quarter past eight, it's quarter past nine there. Uh, Richard runs a channel called um, uh, Surf Talk Live uh, News. So if you're a surfer, whether it's amateur or you follow the, uh, the sport professionally, then get yourself over to his channel, okay? It's uh, Surf Talk Live News, and uh, you'll find that on YouTube and Facebook and all that kind of thing. Uh, Richard, hope you're in. Please do say hi in the comments if you are watching today's stream. That would be absolutely marvellous. Um, what was I going to say to you? If you, um, if you managed to catch my live stream on Sunday, by the way, <laughs> 5 till 7 um, on Sunday evening, I did a, a live DJ set outside in my garden. It was such a glorious day, absolutely stunning. And um, managed to play really, really good songs uh, out in the garden there and had a load of comments. A load of people from all over the world were listening, which was really, really good to see. Um, so if you caught that, that's great. If you didn't, the playback is available on my channel. So check out that at um, Love Audio, Paul Weber on uh, on YouTube and you'll, um, you'll find that. Um, so yeah, here we go. It's... Um, Nice to hear that kind of that harmony coming through, isn't it? Because, you know, if you had to kind of recreate that um, by hand, singing those harmonies, that would take ages. It's a really nice sound. Um, going to just dive into Ovox once more and see if I can edit that a second. Let's go here. Um, so let's just move this along one. So we're singing any vocal. Any, any old vocal here. Sounds awful with my voice, doesn't it? Well, let's go here instead. So we're singing any vocal. Okay. And <clears throat> we're going to go sidechain. Click that. So we're singing any vocal. Singing any vocal. Any, any old vocal into here. So we're singing any vocal. Wow. Sounds quite good, doesn't it? My goodness. So let's change that to the side chain because the side chain is what's um, giving it the drive for those particular notes. It's not uh, anything that's underneath in the synthesizers. Let's have a listen to that. Creates that kind of weird whisper sound, doesn't it? Which is amazing. 
Um, yeah, so drop me a line if you're in the chat, by the way. Say hi to uh, to anybody you'd like, <laughs> and uh, we'll say hi back. I'll answer you as quickly as I possibly can. Um, let's have a look here. So we can send that to the chat. You should be able to see that any second now. And, um, yeah, we'd love to hear your comments. And, and also don't forget, if you are an audio beginner and you'd like to know more and you want to um, maybe suggest something for a future show then please do drop it in the comments i will be delighted to uh, to try and cover that off for you in uh, in future episodes um right so um let me just talk you around what what i'm using currently so you've got the ovox um software in the um presonus studio one uh, 4.6 that's the professional version you can get a prime version from uh, presonus that doesn't cost you anything it's good to try out these things uh, and then of course you can subscribe to either the artist version which is what i had before this one uh, or indeed the professional version if you wish <clears throat> either way they're a fantastic uh, set of, uh, of uh, software and plugins and all sorts of things that comes with it as well uh, which is really cool what you will find though is uh, any external VST plugins will need to be used with the professional version and not with the artist version as I, uh, as I, as I found out which is why I wanted to upgrade really so that I could then bring in some external uh, VSTs and plugins uh, of my own which is really cool. Um, on the desk itself the, the audio is coming through the Studio Live 32SC which is the uh, 32 channel professional digital mixing system and you'll find in the subject title in the description of today's um, live stream you'll find uh, a list of the kind of uh, equipment really that I've been using either doing the live streams or actually DJing as well. Uh, hi to Richard, he's in there. Uh, thank you very much indeed for your comment Richard. Hi from uh, Trinidad, this is Robbie Styles. Hi Rob from Trinidad, thank you so much. It's, it's so nice isn't it when you, you go on a platform like YouTube and you just never know where people are going to be tuning in from. If they're interested in a certain particular uh, subject or whatever it might be, then, um, you know, they, they come on board and take a look at what you're doing and hopefully pick up some tips and hints. Like I say, if there's anything that you'd like me to cover uh, or indeed address maybe on this stream or a future stream, then please do let me know. We go live every Monday night at 8 p.m. UK time. Um, so that's a time that you can uh, tune in and uh, we'd be delighted uh, to be able to answer any questions that you might have regarding audio production. OK, so that's enough of my voice for a moment. Um, <laughs> uh, like I say, really good to have you along tonight. Um, I don't need those on, do I? Because I'm not listening to anything currently. Um, so, yeah, hi to Richard. Hi to Robbie as well. Thank you so much for joining me. And um, uh, what was I going to say? Yeah. Uh, I was going to bring in, uh, there's, there's something I want to address with you guys as well, is recording vocals. And I'm going to be doing some, some work in the booth. So next week, the camera won't be where it is. It'll be with me in the vocal booth next door. And we'll be just doing some, uh, some vocal work, uh, nice and up close, and uh, putting that into Studio One and making sure it's processed well, making sure it sits well. Um, I can actually play you some examples of some voiceover works uh, that I've done recently. So if I uh, put this back on for you, you should be able to see this. Let me just save that where we are. Uh, one more time. So we're thinking any vocal, any, any old vocal. Yeah. It does sound pretty scary, doesn't it, to be fair? <laughs> um, so yeah, let me just close that down for you. Let's save that and then close that. Uh, okay, so just going to pick up a, um, a project I did for my cousin, Wayne. He's um, got a channel of his own. It's called Reaction Radio and um, wanted to um, to have some jingles to play along as well. And we used the vocal track, the vocoder on this as well. So um, hopefully it's saved what I've done. Let me just have a listen to this. Wayne Stoneway on Reaction Radio. Yeah, so was, we did quite a few of these presets. In fact, a, the better idea for me to do is we close that for a second. And if I bring up the, um, uh, let's have a look here, bring up the folder that that contains, that would be the best idea, wouldn't it? Let's have a look. Because uh, we saved quite a bit. So let's go to um, files. And let's go to, let's have a look here. Uh, da, 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 da. Studio One, and we should be able to find his particular project. He says, but it's under 
<laughs> no, I just thought it was in alphabetical order then for a moment, but it's not. <laughs> it's trying to fool me, you see. Let me close that. Let's come out of there. I can actually find this easier if I go to the file itself. Um, so we'll go to uh, this one here. And we'll go to here and Presonus Studio One Four Songs. And then we'll find Wayne's folder. Hang on a second. Where are we? Let's have a look here. Okay, so I think it was... So we're looking at this one here. Yeah, here we go. Okay, so I've got a selection of, of Wayne's audio here. So what I can do is select them all, and I'll play them for you. Have a listen to these. These are just jingles that we came up with, and then he's going to mix them with some whizzes and zaps and everything like that. So um, let's just have a listen to these. Wayne at Stone Lake on Reaction Radio. Wayne at Stone Lake on Reaction Radio. I love that one. Sounds like a tannoy, doesn't it? Wayne Stonelake on Reaction Radio. 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 Wayne Stonelake. On Reaction Radio. Wayne Stonelake. On Reaction Radio. Wayne Stonelake. On Reaction Radio. There we go. So you get the idea. That was just using the Ovox um, as a plugin directly on the vocal track itself, uh, not using any MIDI or anything like that. But going through some of the presets, I was going, oh, yeah, this will sound great. This will sound great. So I was just doing quite a few in a row. And then, as I say, Wayne are gonna, Wayne's going to mix that with some, um, some vocal effects at his end. And, in fact, he'll probably be using something like this. Let me just play this for you. Hang on a second. Let's go to um, Effects. And we go here, something like like this, I guess. You know that kind of zips and zaps and and all that kind of thing, which is pretty cool. I've got acres and acres of that, as you can see. <laughs> uh, but really good to uh, to kind of mix radio station uh, idents with as well, which is fantastic. So here's another one for you. Pretty good stuff, huh? Um, so we can do all that kind of thing as well. You know, if you've uh, you want a jingle made or anything like that, we can do the voiceover here, and then we can get the the effects mixed in with it as well. Maybe give you some vocoder effects, all that kind of thing, which is pretty cool. Um, here's another one for you. Mornings are wacky. <laughs> <laughs> just short and sweet and you can as i say you can drop anything into that and have a bigger mix and everything like that um mike russell um music radio creative does a free jingle friday if you catch him on uh, youtube or facebook um i'm sure he won't mind me mentioning it of course because i've had some uh, some jingles from mike in the past and um yeah he does a free uh, jingle friday <laughs> which is uh, which is pretty cool so you just give him the script ahead of time you've got to fill in a form um, and then he does the he does the jingle live on on the stream and then uh, him and his uh, wife they mix it together uh, so she's on hand of course if you need a female vocalist um, but he does the male vocalist and he's got such a great sound that he's created um, with the microphone he gets really up close like this and it's all compressed and it sounds fantastic <laughs> uh, which is really good um so uh, Mike Russell, if you are listening and viewing, hi to you. And um, yeah, always good to see those uh, free Jingle Fridays coming out of, uh, of your particular channel. Really, really love it. Uh, yeah, so going back to, um, uh, to let's have a look here, to uh, Studio One uh, itself. It's going to load that up. This is what you see, by the way, when you open the first, the first time. Um, then, of course, you can load up any particular song that you've already got saved, um, or you can create a brand new one, of course, from scratch, which is pretty cool. Um, and if you want to create a brand new one, of course, this is how you do it. So you go to track, and then you add audio track, either mono or stereo, or you can add an instrument track as well. Okay. Um, in this particular instance, I'm going to add a music, uh, an, uh, sorry, a um, MIDI track. So that's, that's the symbol for the MIDI. 
Okay, it's got no instrument on it already, so if I even if I do this and play this, you can see the MIDI signals coming through, but of course there's nothing playing via that at the moment. It's coming into the system, but it's not going back out again to you, uh, to the end user, to, the, to the, uh, the speakers or anything. So all you do then is go across to Instruments, and you can either select multi-instruments in this particular case, which is pretty cool, um, or you can go into, uh, let's have a look here, note effects, uh, favorites, no, I haven't got anything in favorites, that makes a change. <laughs> let's go into, um, let's do some drums for a change. So we're going to impact, just put that on the track itself, and it opens up. So now what you've got is a blank screen uh, with some pads on it. So nothing on there, as you can tell, as I'm pressing these. It corresponds to the keys as well down here. Now what we do though is look at the drop down menu. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we've got 60s a go-go as the first thing. It's all in alphabetical order by the way. You can go right down here. There's trap, there's electro, garage, two-step, uh, city kit. Let's try that for instance. So this is what it sounds like. <laughs> he says, oh, no, 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 I know why. I know why. It's okay. My fault. Uh, so I'm going to go here. Let's have a look here, hang on. Let's go to song setup. And we're going to go to audio input and output. My desk mic is on two. My booth mic is on nine. I know that for a fact. Because it's plugged into channel nine. And my outputs are on three and four. Uh, now I've chosen to have them on three and four. They they t kind of default to 17, 18 for some strange reason. I think it's a Windows thing, but I decide to go on three and four, and they come up on my um, my desk just in front of me here. Um, so you click apply. That saves all the se the settings. Back to input. So you see some level coming through there on my microphone, which is what you'd expect. But right here, there we go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah, nice. So each each pad has got a different sound on it, and it's created by a wave. So okay. So every time I every time I press a key on the keyboard over here. See that? I love that electronic sound, haven't you? Uh, we're just messing around here tonight, by the way. So um, if you um, if you'd like us to kind of cover anything as regards audio, then please do let me know. Um, City kit, we'll probably avoid that for a minute. Let's go back to that 60s thing. I'm intrigued by the 60s a go-go. So let's have a listen to that. Oh, just a nice traditional drum kit, right? Fantastic. And you know what? If we put that out of the way, what we can do is go over to some loops and we can probably bring in some drums that will trigger this off. So let's have a listen, see if we can find something here in a second. This is all fun and games. It's all learning for me as well, you know. It is. It's all learning. Uh, let's see if this works. Um, that's country, other. Let's have a look. I don't know what that is. Let's have a look. Other. I've really no idea what that is. Let's drop it into a new track. Okay, we have to create a track then. Audio track stereo. Let's drag that in to there. <laughs> What's that? No, definitely not that. Definitely not that. That's not a drum loop. Okay, let's go to drums. Where are we? Let's have a look. Okay, so files. <clears throat> And pool. Ah, here we go. Right. So, uh, track. There we go. So that's not fine. That's, that's what we've... See, anything you drag and drop in and an audition ends up in this pool section over here, okay? Uh, so, that's instruments, effects, and then you've got loops as well. So, what we're looking to find is some drum loops that we can put in here. But instead, what we'll do 
is we will um, draw eight bars of MIDI. Okay, I'm going to press record and we'll go here. So. Just like that. Uh, just a quick little kind of jingle thing. So now if I, if I go to the beginning of this particular, that's the beginning drum track there. So I'm going to chop that and then get rid of the beginning, move that back to the beginning there, and then we can rewind the play button. <laughs> yeah, nothing special, by the way, because I'm, I'm no musician, but um, just kind of throwing that in there. Um, and um, yeah, hope you enjoyed that particular little ditty, uh, which is quite good. Having fun, uh, says, uh, says Tom. Thank you very much, DP Message, Tom. Yeah, just messing about. Uh, we did the whole kind of MIDI thing earlier on with uh, triggering the OVOX uh, thing earlier on as well. By the way, you can trigger OVOX with drums, uh, which is pretty cool as well. Me, me. Um, yeah, so um, it is possible to do to kind of drag that in as a side chain, and then you trigger off what's going on in Ovox, which is pretty cool. Um, let me see if that will work. Give me two seconds here. Um, let's go to instruments and effects, recent. Okay, and then we'll go to all the way down here somewhere. Which is pretty cool. Where are we gone? It's not there. Let's go back up to the top. And it's not there. Why is it not there? Don't know. Can't find it. Um, vendor. There we go. Recents. No. Waves. There you go. Ovox mono stereo. So we'll bring that in um, and we'll put it on here, we'll put it on this track here. And then what we're going to do is sidechain track one to trigger it off. Okay, so we're going to go sidechain. Nothing yet. Let's take that off of there. Sidechain. Here we go. So it's um, we're, we're triggering impact. So we'll tick that button there. In fact, we'll tick all of those because they're going to be triggering off different things, aren't they? So uh, let's do that. And then should okay nothing just yet <laughs> I've no idea what's going on there um, let's go here and we click synth as the side chain there we go So what's happening is that the track one, the MIDI notes, are triggering OVOX to play those drums in a different way, as you can hear. Have a listen. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Um, so we're going to move on to a different setting. And remember that we need sidechain and internal for the synth, okay? So we'll go this way. And this is that Around the World track again. So have a listen to this. Wow. Um, and we got out the door. Again, internal and side chain. Make sure those are still ticked. In fact, let's lock that. So now what it's doing is playing uh, the fourth note of this C chord. It's playing the fourth note, the seventh note, and the ninth note. And it's got a stereo echo on it as well. So have a listen. Really long echo on that. I love that. Um, a way to go. Okay, this could be a new one. Internal and side chain. Nice. That 
That's a regular drum beat, uh, and it's just triggering different uh, settings within Ovox. Okay, you could go on and on forever, of course. I won't go through all of them. There's just tons and tons on here, literally. If we go to the load section, as you can see, it's on vocoding currently, and look at all of these presets, okay? Absolutely tons and tons of them. Uh, let's go with um, Dream Coder. That sounds nice. Nice. Um, so if you if you were to listen to that on its own, for instance, if I drop a um, a vocal track in here, uh, in fact, if I just do this, hang a second. If I do desk mic and then go one two three four five one two, make that mono, and then um, hey, it's me. That's not going to be any good because it's listening to the drum beat. Hang on a second. My fault. So I mute that first. Hey, it's me. Just testing the Ovox software plugin in Studio One. Just, you know, whatever. Doesn't really matter, does it? Let's face it. So listen. He says. Let's take that off of there. <laughs> okay, let's go back to mix, and we're going to Ovox on this particular channel. So there it is, and then we go edit. And instead of the side chain coming in now, I'm going to take that off. So we will get the drums like that. That's the basic drum coming through. Okay, uh, but instead of um, the side chain as the voice, we'd use the track. So, hey, it's me, just testing the Ovox software in Studio One. Interesting. Hey, it's me, just testing the Ovox software in Studio One. So you get the idea. Lots of messing around, lots of fun. You know, I'm not even scratched the surface really when it comes to this particular piece of software. It's brilliant. Um, so if you manage to get it, it does come as a standalone as well. So you don't necessarily need uh, Studio One to be able to work with it. You can, in fact, use it with most DAWs or, as I say, a standalone version. So. Let's say, for instance, you're um, wanting to perform somewhere. You've got this particular plugin in your stream. Uh, you can literally sing into it, and it will come out of the speakers using the the vocal effects that you've that you can create using Ovox, which is absolutely stunning. Um, so I hope that's been helpful for you. Uh, if you would like more information, please do drop me a message. Um, yeah, and also, you can also help me, by the way, if you like what you see and you want to support the channel in any way whatsoever, then please do drop me uh, a message on my Patreon site. It's patreon.com forward slash love audio production. And um, yeah, if you'd like to help out there, either financially or just pop in and say hi, I'd really appreciate that. Keeps uh, keeps the fire burning, as it were. Keeps the 8 o'clock uh, deadline coming on a Monday night. So I uh, really do appreciate that. Appreciate you being here as well. Thank you so much for all of the messages this evening. And, um, yeah, really, really good to, uh, to see you this evening. And I'd uh, like to see you on the next one, which is next Monday evening. Make sure you join me if you can. That's Monday evening, 8 p.m. And uh, we'll do it all over again. This has been tonight's subject, of course, triggering waves Ovox with Mini. MIDI, even. Not even a Mini. <laughs> does help if you know what the uh, the thing is called, doesn't it? Let's face it. Okay. Um, but like I say, really, really good to see you. And uh, thanks so much for watching. If you need any more information, please do drop me a message and I'll answer them after the stream. And uh, have a nice night. Take care. Stay safe. And see you on the next one. <laughs>